Hello everyone, welcome to a really quick review of Tuxler VPN. Now, this is just a quick review on the review that I found online about this uh, VPN. Now, this VPN is rating 7.2 out of 10. This is the rating of the VPN. Now, it's ranked 237th out of 316 VPNs. So it's ranked pretty, pretty low. Now let's see why. So as you can see, Tuxler is a free service that assigns your residential IP address to mask the fact that you're using a proxy, right? So that means no one will notice you are using an anonymity service, right? A residential IP address is a simply IP associated with a home address instead of a business. This makes Tuxler ideal for any home user who wants to unblock access to a service such as Netflix, right? Now, as you can see, here are some of the things. Now for Tuxler, it offers both free and paid version. If you upgrade, you pay $0 per month. Tuxler does not offer a money back guarantee, so chances of getting your money back are very minimal, right? Uh, now, here are some of the features, right? Obviously, the price is $0 per month because it's free, right? Uh, does it keep logs? Yes. Number of servers, there are over 3,000 servers. One number of device per license and kill switch. Yes, you have a kill switch and based country is United States, right? It also has a ticketing system for support if you want, right? Now, obviously you can also unblock a lot of different services like Netflix, ESPN, HBO, Hulu, stuff like that, right? Uh, but what I said, what I basically found here is that uh, it, it, the speeds is inconsistent and unreliable in most cases because it's free and because the speeds are inconsistent and unreliable, right? So speed is very critical when uploading content. It determines how fast your content can upload. And if you're streaming or torrenting, you want to make sure your VPN can offer good speed. Now you will have even worse experience when on free tier as it's super slow, right? The premium version either isn't the best option. So overall, when it comes to Tuxler, uh, you know, VPN has some great, great options, but the speed is just not there, right? Tuxler is slower than most VPNs and that is why it's probably not ideal if you want to use it for something on uh, your own, whether it's for business or personal reasons. So um, as you can see, Tuxler speeds are not enough for gaming, uh, obviously, because they're so slow and they're really, eh, I, I wouldn't even say they're enough for Netflix, but you can try it yourself and see. But overall, I would give this, uh, you know, probably three out of 10 rating because of the speeds not 7.2 out of 10, right? Now, obviously, if you want to use this uh, VPN, you can comment down below with some of your experiences if you already used it, so that, uh, you know, the people that are watching this video see if this VPN is worth it or not. But I personally think there are many better VPNs out there. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.